Hey everyone, welcome back to another video from Coco's Cosmology. And in today's video, we're going to be doing our weekly predictions for our Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for the week of March 21st through March 27th. So let's go ahead and get right into you guys' reading, all right? What is going on with my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for the week of March 21st through March 27th? What can they expect? What should they look out for? And what energy is surrounding them? All right, you guys, if you are new here, quick disclaimer. For some of you guys, this energy is going to be happening in chronological order. And for other you guys, this energy is going to be happening sporadically throughout the week. So take what resonates with you. All right, so let's get into you guys this reading. What's going on with my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for the week of March 21st through March 27th? Okay. So we have the Four of Wands. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Emperor in Reverse. We have the Nine of Cups. What else is going on for my Scorpios? Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for the week of March 21st through March 27th. I think I saw the Ace of Pentacles. Yep, Ace of Pentacles and the Magician. Can I get one more card for my Scorpios? All right, we got the Six of Pentacles. All right, let's move this down. All right, you guys. All right, so back of deck energy, you guys do have the hair fake card. So I feel like this week, you guys are going to be, for your overall energy, you guys are going to be focusing on like your knowledge, focusing on your higher self, your higher calling, um, doing a lot of research, um, communicating with people who may know a little bit more than you or some people that you look up to spiritually. However, it may, you know, resonate with you guys. I do see you guys tapping into that energy with the Hierophant, all right? Also, um, a lot of you guys may be seeking deeper into like your religion, your spirituality. Um, also, some of you guys may be thinking about going back to school or doing some research pertaining to that during this week. All right, so looking at you guys' this spread, you guys do have two major arcana cards in the spread, but the back of the deck energy being included, it is three. So let's go ahead and get right into you guys' this reading. So with the first card that you guys have is the Four of Wands. Now with the Four of Wands energy, this is somebody who is embodying and learning more about like their peace, right? What makes you happy? What makes you feel a little more a little more comfortable you know a lot of you guys are focusing on security a lot of you guys this relationship may be sparking back up at some point during this week um a lot of you guys may be thinking about marriage or just celebrating you know a milestone that you've reached in your life um during this week so pay attention to that energy you guys it's very exciting energy you may have some fire signs who are there to celebrate with you like sagittarius leo or aries so you will be embodying that energy and honing into that energy you guys also do have the nine of wands all right so i feel like with a lot of you guys with the four of wands energy that you had right before this nine of wands i feel like a lot of you guys are going to be really focusing on your security and guarding it you know making sure that you keep the peace making sure that you keep the faith making sure that you stay uplifted you know purging out any negative energies that have been in your way or have been involved um in your life you guys do have like more um fire and aries energy coming with the emperor being in reverse but more on the nine of wands uh, I don't know why I put the card down, but more of the nine of wands, you guys, like you guys may be protecting yourself, you know, from failure or disappointments from other people. So you may be holding yourself to like a higher standard at some point during this week, higher than what you may have ever done in your life. So 
the goals and the bar is going to be set high um, for you during this week and I feel like this energy is coming from yourself um, it could be coming from a parent as well you guys do have the Emperor in reverse now the Emperor in reverse like I said is the Aries card you know Aries um, zodiac sign that's what it's ruled by and you guys may be feeling like you're cooped up not wanting to socialize with other people you may be going through the motions at some point during this me week where you may be stuck in a book you may be stuck on YouTube doing research you may be on Google you may be hitting people up thinking you know to yourself how can you better yourself or you may be doing some research on some schools that you're wanting to get involved in something of that nature that is going to be causing you to just be cooped up in the house and stay focused and concentrated on some things that you're wanting to do and elevate in you guys do have the nine of cups now with the nine of cups energy this is the energy of somebody who is being celebrated just like the four of wands energy that is here you know it's a celebration it's some people coming in you guys are being honored and welcomed um, you guys know that you have what it takes to get the job done and I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be getting recognized at some point during this week for the accomplishments that you've done or you're going to sit back since this is water sign energy you may be sitting back recognizing the things and how far that you've come from last year and how much you've elevated and the things that you learned and how grateful and thankful that you are to be where you are now to be able to realize the things that you've been through and seeing how strong you are and how far you've come to make it here with this ace of pentacles energy I do see a lot of you guys stepping into your prosperity after going through this point of reflection, this point of thinking of everything, you know, writing down the things that you're grateful for. I do see a lot of you guys going in your gratitude journal, writing and manifesting some things into your life and being content with where you are right now, living in the now and living in the moment. And like I was saying about manifesting, you guys do have the Magician card here, which is a major arcana card. This week is a great week for you guys to manifest and put, put your all into it, put your faith into it. And like I said, you guys may be thinking about writing in that gratitude journal um, during this week at some point. And, you know, it's going to be like such a grateful mo moment, you know. Some of you guys are going to have like a teary-eyed moment, a little bit of crying, you know, expressing how you feel to your higher power, your creator, God, um, whoever or whatever you may call your higher power. And um, you guys may be tapping into that energy very heavily during this week, showing how thankful you are to be where you are now and you are no longer in the space that you used to be in. You guys also do have the Six of Pentacles energy here. And I feel like you guys are going to be, you know, very generous to yourself. And you're going to be focusing on more balance that's happening into your life, more equality, you know, being a little more social um, with people at some point during the end of the week. I know with the emperor being in reverse, you guys are going to be, you know, feeling a little bit cooped up because you may be doing some research or focusing on meditation, your spirituality. But with the six of pentacles coming out, you guys may be very vocal and, you know, expressing how you're feeling and the things that you want you know to say or have been holding in lately so yes scorpio looking at you guys spread for the week i do see you guys you know celebrating some milestones in your life and also manifesting some new things and you know staying to yourself a little bit at a time so you can do some research and gather information and you know sharing that information with others all right so we're going to get right into you guys's um weekly you know predictions of what you should be mainly focusing on with the numerology cards so the first card to come out is number 71 and that's for your health a lot of you guys need to think about the things that you are eating or pay attention to what you're eating your exercise um what is it what you're eating what is it doing to your skin what is it doing to your digestive system how do you feel after you eat such and such or how do you feel after you eat fries some greasy fries or something you know 
start reflecting on the things that you eat you know start journaling the things that you eat what do you eat in a day what do you eat in a week how are you spending your money you guys do have wow number 57 teaching and learning um the hierophant card is here so that's your overall energy for the week and i do see you guys with your nose stuck in a book this week doing some research learning being taught some new things or teaching people you know new things and wow number 48 financial discipline came out as well so you guys are most definitely need to be disciplined um have healthy money habits you know a lot of you guys it may not have to do with your food intake it may have to do with your money intake and outtake you know <laughs> all right so what we're gonna do is get into the moon allergy cards so we can see, you know, what energies are surrounding my Scorpios during the week of March 21st through March 27th. So let's go ahead and get right into that, you guys. Uh, what is going on? What energies are surrounding my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs? All right, so the first card to come out is You Are Good Enough, Full Moon, and Virgo. So for those of you who may not be feeling very confident or, you know, not feeling like you're worthy enough to have this certain lifestyle or you're not worthy enough to exceed in life, Spirit is here to tell you, you are good enough. You guys also have a time to give rather than take new moon in Virgo. So I see that with the six of pentacles energy as well. A lot of you guys are going to be very generous or being very social and standing up for what you believe in at some point during this week. You guys also have you and your loved ones are safe, new moon in cancer. So strong cancer energy surrounding you and then believe in the impossible blue moon. All right, so those are the energies that are surrounding you guys during this week. All right, let's go ahead and get into the astrology cards to see what other energies are surrounding you guys this week. So the first card to come out is Gemini. The energy is communicative, mischievous, lively, witty, and informative. Stimulating exchange is possible. Now, this stimulating exchange is going to be, you know, your mind is going to be stimulated with the things that you read or the things that you're communicating with other people to learn more about the information that you obtain during this week you guys also have Leo energy this is the energy that is flamboyant dramatic proud and passionate it focuses on the importance of self-belief so how much do you believe in yourself is the question and the energy you need to tap into and that is going to be surrounding you during this week you guys also have Neptune which is Pisces energy your fantasies yearnings longings and potential for illusion a lot of you guys may be doing a lot of daydreaming while you're being cooped up or doing research you know a lot of lounging around wanting to you know just be to yourself and there's nothing wrong with that Scorpio so let's go ahead and get right into the star seed oracle card so we can see what messages you guys have from spirit all right so let's get one more card for my Scorpios okay we got two all right okay so four all together first card to come out is loosing your grip Coping mechanisms, density, addiction, let God in. I believe that came out for someone else as well. I cannot remember which zodiac sign it came out for, but it's time to let go. It's time to let God in, and it's time to release any anxiety, any panic, any insomnia, anything, you know? Like with the Nine of Wands energy, you guys are guarded. You feel so, you know, you feel like you have to protect yourself at all costs, but now it's time to loosen your grip. The longer that you hold on to something tight, your hands begin to get sweaty and the grip starts to slide and you lose control and you don't want to do that. It's time to loosen your grip and hold it gently. All right, you guys this have the seven star sisters, birthing creations, tapestry of life expression. A lot of you guys are going to be expressing yourself a little bit more, tapping into like your purpose or finding out about like your birth creations, like 
how you were created, um, what's your meaning, what's your purpose here in life. A lot of you guys are going to be tapping into that energy during this week. You have empathic star seed, energetic sovereignty, absorbing what's not yours. Scorpio, um, you guys are water signs, so it's kind of very easy for you guys to absorb other people's energy or feel how someone else may feel. Like if they have an attitude without even saying anything to you, you guys can feel that energy vibrate over to you guys. Um, this week I know it may be hard but try to detach yourself from that energy you guys have lifting the veil questioning everything anything unaligned must go like um, we said earlier you guys are going to be embodying that teaching and learning energy the hair fin type energy you guys are going to be doing research anything that doesn't make any sense this week you're going to be researching about it why is this that way you know and tapping into that energy and gaining more knowledge so that you'll be able to go forth and move to the next level in your life so i hope you guys enjoyed this reading scorpios please give it a thumbs up leave comments down below subscribe hit that notification bell so you won't ever miss an upload and i will see you guys in my next one bye